Welcome to Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City, a black and gold mosh pit where the Hawkeyes are ready to swarm. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Minnesota Golden Gophers, taking on another team from the Big Ten, the Iowa Hawkeyes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Hawkeyes will kick it away to start. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Minnesota Golden Gophers offense will have the first possession of the game. The Gophers and the Hawkeyes clash for one of the great trophies in all of sports, rich in tradition. They are playing for Floyd of Rosedale, guys. Anytime it's a trophy game, you know the intensity is going to be at a different level. These two teams, they circle this game all season long for the right to pick up a giant pig trophy after the game. What could be better than that? And these trophy games matter. Why do they matter? Somebody comes in from the trophy every single year, and they're going to tell Iowa, and they're going to tell Minnesota the background, the story about this, and why this game means so much, and that's why there's a trophy. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. A lot of hard-fought, memorable games in this rivalry. The Gophers took a close one last year. And they've been gloating about it and celebrating that win last year all year long. Not just the fans, but every day in the facility, the players get to walk by the Floyd of Rosedale Trophy, sitting in... And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. They were trying to set up the screen. They were trying to take advantage of this pass rush, but man, that defender, he beat his guy so quickly, he just blew the play out. The Golden Gophers will line up to punt it away. Bring it out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. On the return, it's Brown. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. The Hawkeyes offense has its first opportunity of the day. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys that are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. That incompletion leads to second down and 10. Looking to pass, it's McNamara. Setting up the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. One of the things I love about this offense is they're very versatile in their passing attack. They throw to receivers and tight ends and the screen game is big as well. This guy is a weapon. You're seeing that here early. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. He wants to throw it. Fires to the right. And that one's incomplete. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. And they're running out the kicker to give it a try. He's going to have to break out the thunderfoot on this one. A 57-yard attempt. And he's got it from 57. What a beauty. Well, this team knew coming into tonight's game, they had to get momentum early, playing at home. They want to get the crowd into it. So you get a beautiful drive here to start this thing. You would have liked to cap it off with a touchdown, but listen, you set yourself up for a field goal. You knock it through the uprights. You've got the lead. Everything right now looking good. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. 
On the move from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Minnesota has it back in the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. They opened up this drive, getting all the way out to the 35, and now it's first down again. They're going to ride this running back. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. This rivalry between Iowa and Minnesota even predates Floyd or Rosedale. Goes all the way back to 1891, guys. Crazy to think about a rivalry going that far. And it's passed down, and the uniforms changes, and the names change. But it's so cool, the history of this intact. People keeping track of the records, and it means something to those players back then and to these now. Yeah, tradition, that's one of the things that makes college football the greatest sport in the world. And the fact that you get to have these trophy games, Floyd of Rosedale, are you kidding me? This is a game you've got to tune into. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. Looking downfield, it's Brosmer. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Yeah, I like the aggressiveness on third and short, trying to throw the football, take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they do? And the Golden Gophers will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on it. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Finds his tight end. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Well, a nice completion there, finding the tight end. And what's so beautiful about that is while they didn't get the first, they were able to pick up enough yards now to make the third down manageable, really putting this offense in a good position. Now staring at a third and short from the 40. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. The Hawkeyes get enough to move the chains. That is how it's done on third down and short. And no doubt about it, an easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily picked that up. And the Hawkeyes are flying down the field. Right back to the well. Plows through the defense. He makes the stop at the 43-yard line. It's a pickup of 15, and they've got it in plus territory. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall that just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. One back in the backfield. He gets the carry. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. 
The give is to Williams. Tackled after picking up the first down. Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards. And it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down you can get yards like that turning around and handing yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going to that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different and give this offense something to think about. This offense has become a first-down machine, and that is so demoralizing for the defense, especially for those star players that are playing tons of snaps and not subbing out as much. By the fourth quarter, they're going to be gassed. The Hawkeyes have it with a first and goal. Dropping back, it's McNamara. Snag in the end zone! Touchdown, Iowa! I don't know exactly what the defensive coverage was, but it certainly wasn't part of the plan to leave him that wide open. Well, I don't, I don't think they know what their defensive coverage was either. How do you leave that big guy open down here in the red zone? You know the quarterback loves the big tight ends in this area. Really poor job by the defense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So an 82-yard drive there. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll run it from the gun. Crosses the 30 to the 31, a six-yard gain. Offensive linemen love to run power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having the pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Finds a tight end. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Now, don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. Looking for a man. It's Grosmer. He's right on target. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Well, the drag route's put in this playbook to fight against man-to-man -man coverage. So there you see the receiver using his speed, working his way across the field. He gets separation on the DB, trying to trail him, makes the catch, turns it upfield for the first. Now on second down. They're going to test the right side with this one. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. And this offense is clicking, everything's moving, and the guy carrying the football, I mean, he is carrying the rock. Like, this is a guy that's he's setting this tone for this game, creating some balance on this offense. This offense is going to be a handful. 
Yeah, David, I'd love to sit here and say, well, the offensive coordinator is just one step ahead of his counterpart across the field. That's not it. Right now, his offensive line is establishing the line of scrimmage, and you mentioned the back. He right now is running with authority on this drive. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down, man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. challenge here they've taken a punch but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second gives it to the back on the draw that's what you expect from a senior don't give them any extra yards great tackle there I like feeding my guy I like getting my running back touches feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs but I'm also okay with these little ones set the tone stay balanced Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Back to throw, it's Grosmer. They're trying to get to it. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. Oh, the attempt is no good. The missed field goal still leaves us with a double-digit deficit. Still a 10-point game. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. And the Hawkeyes headed quickly to the line. The give is to Williams. And he could not get loose on the run. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. Not at all. Great job by the defense getting the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He'll run it again. He stops him at the 31, but not before. He picks up ten yards on the play. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. The Hawkeyes will have it first and ten. Running back searching for a hole. Defense there to stop him after a gain of three, but he is inside the 30 to the 29. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. They get him down after he makes the catch. And offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, boom, it's just built into the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. Third and short from the 26. Pretty easy field goal range, but they'd love to pick up the first. Back to pass, it's McNamara. Right down the middle. And that ball is picked off. He'll try to take it back. 
a dangerous cover man and a dangerous return man after the pick as he gets it all the way to the 44-yard line. Timing has to be so good. When you're throwing at his own defense over the middle of the field, the ball's got to come out specifically on time because these windows close really quickly. Ball there thrown a little bit late. As a result, it's an INT. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. They'll run play action. Makes the catch. It's Taylor. Bells and whistles have got to be going off in this quarterback's head now. It's third and long, so you know you're expecting pressure. you got to know where your hot routes are. you got to be able to read the coverage and make sure you get this football out of your hands quickly to not take a sack or worse, turn the football over. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Throws to the wideout. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. The Golden Gophers line up to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't miss. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. So they'll try to salvage this drive on second and long from the 12. Here's the handoff. Finds a little bit of space. He'll get three out to the 15. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Yeah, and the defensive line, you know, third and long situations. I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. And the Hawkeyes will call on their punt team. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He gets it away from his own end zone. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Looking for a productive play on first down. They move the tight end all over. They'll go to the ground. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. The draws are such a smart way to take advantage of fast defensive linemen that want to get upfield and get after the quarterback. It keeps them honest, makes them realize they got to play the run, too. Great play, though. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Looking to throw, it's Brosmer. Using his feet to buy time. 
He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running room and move the chains. This is such a frustrating feeling when you got a defense that drops back, takes away all the immediate options, does a really good job with the first play, the pass play, but then you got a quarterback that just pulls it down, easily gets the first down. I just don't know how you stop a guy like this. Leaves it with the running back. Knocked down after a three-yard gain to the 25. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They've got him looking run, but they're going to throw it. A shot toward the end zone. Fires into traffic. Intercepted. Defensive backs have tough jobs. I mean, you think about whether you play Hilton, whether you play Dime, whatever it is, you put more DBs on the field. It's more speed. It's more guys that can cover, but they also got to cover that ground. But to cover the ground and make the pick, a lot of times you don't see that. Superb effort by that guy. has the ball back on offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. Oh, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. After picking up a couple at second and eight, They'll go right back to it. He's stumped after picking up one to the 23. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Looking downfield, it's McNamara. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. The Hawkeyes will no, punt no, it away no. on fourth Hawks down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important, down two possessions, Dave, that they're able to score some points. So you got to call your best stuff in this two-minute situation. And it's such a good opportunity to cut it to a one-score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for the second half, because obviously, you know, you built yourself a little bit of a deficit. You need some good things to happen, and it needs to happen on this possession. He's looking for an open man on second down. Caught near the sticks. It's Taylor. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. you got to be versatile. i got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and i got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. He wants to throw. Fires to the wideout. Complete downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time. Spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense. Understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Looked like the offense had a chance for a big play there, but the running back just could not reel that ball in. After missing the connection last time, it's second and 10 from the 22. Looking to throw it again. Release to the back. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. Well, he did a good job getting to the middle of the field. That's where the offense wanted to attack on that play. He's just got to do a better job looking that football in. 
They were on the move, but two straight incompletions have them staring at third and ten. Dropping back, it's Brosmer. Unloads to the right. Hauls it in. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. And you got man-to-man -man coverage. You're running that curl route. That ball has to come out. You know you're going to get hit. Like, you know you stopped your route. He's going to be right there. But does a great job securing the catch, getting the first down. And the Golden Gophers getting set on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say it's out of bounds. An incomplete pass. Brings up second down. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Man, I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Attempt to try. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They took it 64 yards right down the field. And they finish it with an 11 yard touchdown dart. Kickoff team has the ball teed up and they're about ready to go. And he'll bring it back. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. He'll start this drive firing quickly to the tight end. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. Got it. Behind the line, it's Williams. we got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. How about the job and recognition by the defense? They knew exactly what they were trying to set up, and they had multiple defenders surrounding that intended target so that there was nowhere for him to go once he caught the ball. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. And the Hawkeyes will punt this one away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Makes a move. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Dumps it to the back. That's caught. It's Taylor. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. They make the stop at the two, but he's got enough to give them a first and goal. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. And in the final seconds of the first half, they'll send out the field goal unit. Between the uprights, it's good. And the field goal to end the half takes us to halftime.
We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, who would have thought a bronze pig could turn two level-headed fan bases into emotional tornadoes? But that's exactly what you get in the fight for the Floyd of Rosedale Trophy. It's been very evenly played through two quarters. Both teams have been physical. Both teams have battled there in the trenches. Neither has been perfect, but they're both right there in this game. And it's kind of the calm before the storm. Each side sort of licking their wounds right now, but expect another fight in a phone booth in this second half. With that, let's send it back to the guys to see how the fight between Minnesota and Iowa plays out. The Golden Gophers will line up to kick off and start the second half. Here he comes with the return. And the returner goes down. Iowa has the ball back on offense. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. QBs, when you see zone coverage, man, can you manipulate defense when you have a good pocket and you've got time to throw? You had a little bit of time to throw. Move guys with your eyes. That drag comes wide open. Good throw, good catch. First down. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. Makes the grab and he's dragged down. My old coach said you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Dropping back, it's McNamara. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. The play action fake. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. Tie game here early in the second half. And offensively, you're hoping to get something going. But after that incompletion, it kind of kills all of your momentum. This quarterback is really going to have to lock in Number here nine. for the rest of this game. They're going to win. The Hawkeyes decide to punt it away. Let's see what he can do with it. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that get that one positive play and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. To throw, it's Grosmer getting some heat. And they got him for the sack. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. And 
the Golden Gophers will bring the punt team onto the field. On the return, it's Brown. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yards you can and help out the offense. They'll give it to the back. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Pulls it and fires to the left. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. The gift to the back. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Got three on first down at second and seven. They think there's room to run to the right here. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. They'll need to get the ball to the 34 to convert this third down. To the air, it's McNamara. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Brought down just outside the red zone. He moves the chains. It's at the 22. I know we're a long way up here in the booth, but guys, y'all remember that ball you could throw that whistled? That thing was whistling. It had so many RPMs on it. And the Hawkeyes are on the move. They'll throw it on first down. Using the quick game. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. You complete some of these hitch throws early, you're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that. And then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And that's just a simple blitz by the middle linebacker, and he's able to win up front. He sees the gap. He's able to beat his block and get to the QB. A field goal here would put them on top, but a touchdown's what you want in a game like this. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. And he'll try to make it two for two, this time from 35 yards away. Just drives it between the uprights. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. Out of the end zone. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. They'll leave it with the lone back. Across the 25, he's got room. 
Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. They'll give it to him again. He's got a yard out to the 30-yard line. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're strong. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. It's a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I like the idea of going draw there. You're trying to sell pass, but you still need to do a better job up front executing those blocks. There's too many one-on-ones where they got beat, and as a result, they suffer a negative play. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. Quickly complete. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force them on. That is so well done. The Golden Gophers will try to pin them back with the punt. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 20. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. A third and long coming up here. Scanning the field, it's McNamara. Shoots it to the left. He's got it. At the 40, there he goes. And the explosiveness, the big gainer gets it to the 49-yard line. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. The Hawkeyes want to move quickly. Trying to find his man on first down. And the blitz gets to him just like that. And they went right back to the well, and that is a big-time answer from the defense after giving up the explosive play. Yeah, it's a great job in sudden change, right, Reese? You give up the big one, the play before. So you hustle down, you get lined up. You have no idea what's coming next, but great individual effort by the defender to get to that QB. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. Wants to throw on second down. Got it in the middle, it's Brown. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Nice job by the receiver there, running the drag route against zone coverage, finding the soft spot, making it easy on his quarterback to get the completion. He turns it upfield and he moves the sticks. And the Hawkeyes are marching down the field. They go to the ground. Squeezes out a couple of yards down to the 32. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. 
As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. And now on second down for this offense. To the air, it's McNamara. Throws to the tight end. Wide open downfield. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. Hey, nice job by the offense there, attacking the middle of the field. Excellent route, finding the soft spot in the defense. Nice job by the quarterback putting it right on his guy. So this offense has the lead, they have the ball, they have the clock on their side, and a chance perhaps to put it out of reach. He's looking to pass. He caught it! Takes it to the house! Touchdown, Hawkeye! One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. The give on the inside. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Defense, man, you got to go low and you got to chop that tree down, right? Go with the legs. Take the legs out from underneath them so he can't continue to churn those puppies out and get extra yards after contact like he did there. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. Pulls and throws off the RPO. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him too. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. A nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Quarterback on the keeper. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. Power football with the run. He's brought down at the 45 after the productive first down play it's second and six wants to throw it's Brosmer he looks that one in nicely makes that one pay off and they finally get him down at the 38 it'll be first down and no messing around right now if you're on offense. This is the time where execution has got to be at a premium. You need to hit completions, David. They need some big plays. Yeah, and you just want to keep pressuring them and keep making them use the clock, give them the underneath stuff. And again, when they drive the football down the field, I just can't give up touchdowns. Field goal at this point is not going to hurt my defense. Knocked down at the 35 after a pickup of three. Knocked down at the 35-yard line. Second down coming up.
After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. The big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell it extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it, and the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. This time it's complete. Moving deeper into enemy territory. Move the chains. It's first down at the 27. And the Golden Gophers come to the line with a new set of downs. Leaves it with the back. They make the tackle after he gets two down to the 25. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Off the boot, looking for his man. Pulls it in. It's Taylor. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play a wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. From here, it would just be a 30-yard field goal try. Let's see how aggressive they're going to be to try to pick up that first down. The give is to Taylor. And the defense had his hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. And that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you've got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing bowl, got it stopped, and now forced it to fourth down. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. Putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Bringing it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Iowa has the ball back on offense. They'll try the right side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That's exactly the start you want when you're on offense. In this situation, four-minute offense, I'm not worried about scoring. I'm not worried about getting a bunch of first downs. I need two. I need two first downs, and I'm going to let that clock tick, and I walk out of here with the W. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. To the air, it's McNamara. Takes the easy completion. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And that's a really good job by the defense, understanding leverage. I can't let that fast sucker get outside of me towards the sidelines. Nice job expanding with him and then going and making a tackle. One of the hardest things to do in football is tackle guys in the open field. Great job going and getting them on the ground. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. It's caught downfield. And they finally get him down, but not before. He's got him set up for business at the 49-yard line. And what a big conversion by the offense there. With the lead late, you're just trying to stay on the field and bleed the clock. At this point, it's tick, 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 tick. Let's run this clock down as low as we can before we snap it. Going up top on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. A 
after the misfire. It's second and ten. The aerial assault continues. They're setting up the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. And so many things have to come together perfectly for a screen to work for big yardage. And they were close. You could tell that almost busted, but they just got wrapped up, got a little bit of yardage, but they really wanted that one to be a big game. The marker rests at the 39, and that's what they need here on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Got him downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And they did everything right in this four-minute type situation, trying to bleed the clock. First you get the completion, then you get the first down, and you stay in bounds. You could not execute that play any better. They'll keep it on the ground. They want this clock to move. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. From the gun, running back gets to give. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. The clock and the scoreboard on their side as they come to the line, first and goal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And the D deny them on second and goal. Trying to surge it in. And he'll be stopped for no gain, still sitting at the three-yard line. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. If they can get it into the end zone here, they can really turn up the heat in this one. Third and goal. The give. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And decision time coming for this offense. How about the defense? They've hung in there, Palmer, made him earn it all the way down. Now, are you going to go for it on fourth down? Yeah, you know, after running so many plays offensively on the drive, I know it'd be disappointing to only walk away with a field goal, but you'd feel even worse if you went for a touchdown and didn't get it. I think you kick it right here. Never enough. And they'll push that lead out a little further. Thing you want to do here is give up a big return, pin them back, and then the defense can just stop them from scoring a touchdown. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. To the air, it's Grosmer. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw.
Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. That's a good decision by the quarterback. I know that's not going to come up on the stat sheet, but you're in the pocket, nobody's open. Don't risk turning it over, just throw it away. Third and 10, still backed up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. From the gun, wants to pass. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. After that incompletion, fourth and long now on your own side of the field, you're trailing in the fourth quarter. What's your go-to play call here in the passing game? Where is the matchup that you trust in to come up with a big one to give yourself a chance to stay alive and win this game? And after this play, the cake will be baked. They're throwing for it on fourth down. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. 